Hey guys, Richard Silva, and this is my knee anatomy video. Uh, we are going to be using a right knee for reference in case any sort of um, diagrams come up. And I'm going to start with the bony structures and then move on to the soft. And I'm going to go cartilaginous, tendons, and muscles. So first is the bony structure. Uh, we're going to begin with the largest bone, which is your femur. Uh, your femur runs vertically uh, from your hip down to your knee. Um, this is your thigh bone. Um, at the end of the femur are uh, two rounded ends that look a bit like golf balls on the end of a stick, and these are called condyles. And you have a notch in the middle of the lateral and medial that's called the intercondylar notch. Um, this articulates with the knee joint, and at the base of the knee joint is the shin bone, and this is your tibia. It's the larger bone of the lower leg. And at the top, you have the tibial plateau. And uh, anterior to the knee joint itself, so right in front anterior to um, the femoral head is your patella and lateral to your tibia is your fibula which is your uh, smaller bone of the lower leg. Uh, so moving on to your main soft structures starting with cartilaginous um, your femoral head is covered with um, articular cartilage it absorbs impact and makes for a free-flowing joint with minimal friction. friction friction, not friction. The superior head of the tibia, again called the tibial plateau, is covered with a fibrous cartilaginous uh, structure called the meniscus, which is split into two parts, lateral and medial. Um, the purpose is to absorb shock, um, prevents hyperextension, it keeps the, the rounded part of the femur kind of in its place against the flat tibia. Um, and again, makes the joint space more congruent. Um, the meniscus is split into um, three parts, kind of each side, the medial and lateral is split into each uh, three parts, um, into thirds. So the inner third is avascular, it doesn't have any blood flow. Um, the middle third is uh, somewhat vascular, it has some blood flow, and then the outer third is where um, the veins and arteries pass by, so that is vascular, so that has a lot of blood flow and can be repaired much more easily. Um, the middle, they'll probably usually just yank it out, clean it up, shave it up. Um, now you have your tendons. So your tendons uh, begin with your two, the, the two main uh, are your, your vertical extension. They're just above each other. So you have your quadriceps tendon, which runs from the base of your quadriceps muscle into the superior part of your patella. And then almost as if it were one structure running all the way down, um, just on the inferior side of the patella continuing to the superior anterior facing of the tibia would be your patellar tendon. Um, together with the quadriceps muscles, these are responsible for um, extension of the knee. So that would be if your knee was in a bent position, it would be extending the leg forward. Or if you were seated and you wanted to lift your foot up into the air, that would be extension. Then we have your ligaments. So you have your ACL, your anterior cruciated ligament. This articulates at the posterior lateral condyle and the anterior medial tibia and prevents the tibia from moving too far anterior. So this would keep the joint from doing fat. So femur down, tibia on the bottom, from flipping forward. Uh, we also have your PCL, which is your posterior cruciated ligament. It's going to be the opposite, uh, articulates, excuse me, not the articulations, the, the purpose would be the opposite. Um, the articulations are at the medial femoral condyle and the posterior medial tibia, and then it prevents the knee joint from moving, the tibia from moving too far posterior, so that would be that movement, where the rounded part of the knee would leave the joint forward. Um, then you have your LCL and your MCL. Um, this is your lateral and medial collateral ligaments. Um, MCL articula articulates at the medial femoral condyle and the medial facing of the tibial head and the LCL articulates at the lateral femoral condyle and the superior fibular head. So this is the one that's going to attach to the fibula. Um, and this is responsible, these two together are responsible for keeping the tibia from pitching laterally or medially within the joint with respect to the femur. Um, then you have uh, two main muscle groups. 
So on the anterior side, you have your quadriceps. Um, from lateral, sorry again, right? From lateral to medial, you have very simple. They're all called vastus, except for one. So it's vastus lateralis, intermedius, and medialis. And then just anterior to the intermedius is the rectus uh, femoris. So that's sort of, if you have one, two, and three, lateral, medial, uh, excuse me, lateral, intermediate, and medial, kind of in front of and slightly to the medial side and much smaller is the rectus femoris. Uh, these are responsible for ex extending the knee, again, in conjunction with the quadriceps tendon, the patella, and the patellar tendon. Uh, posterior, you have your hamstring muscles. So from switching, we're gonna go from medial to lateral, they actually go alphabetically. So you have uh, sartorius, gracilis, and semimembranosus, semitendinosus. So it's um, first is the sartorius, the S, so it's SA, then your G is stuck in the middle, and then you have your semimembranosus, SM, and your semitendinosus, ST. So they go, the S's go alphabetical, alphabetically from medial to lateral. Um, sort of across the leg on the medial side is the biceps femoris, uh, which is kind of all on its own. Um, I guess if you think about it, if you took your right hand and put it on the back of your right leg like this, that's sort of what they look like. You have the four that stick together, um, your sartorius, gracilis, semimembranosus, semitendinosus, and the biceps femoris, which is kind of across the way on its own. So if you were to put them on the back of your right leg, it would sort of show you where the muscles go in a very sort of crude way. Um, and these again are responsible for flexing the knee, so that would be from your stationary standing position, flexion would bring your knees back towards your hamstring muscles, towards your butt. Um, or if you were in a seated position, this would be that workout where you sit in the bench and you push your legs down towards the floor. Um, there's also two, I guess we'll call it nondescript structures in the knee. Um, there's a fat pad that's behind the patella, you know, absorb impact, whatever. Um, it's posterior to the patella, anterior to the actual knee joint itself, um, the articulation of the femur and the tibia. And you also have two tendon-like, ligament-like structures that run uh, medial and lateral of the patella. So it almost looks like your patella is in the middle. And then you have two structures that run immediately around it. Um, and these are very simply the lateral and medial retinaculum. Um, and that is your knee anatomy. Have a good weekend, guys.